As I had said on a previous video, I figured I would, since I need to replace my game cameras, go ahead and uh, order a few different ones and do some reviews. So, what I have in front of me here is a simple 12 megapixel trail camera. It does 12 megapixel pictures, it does 720p video. My two requirements for game cameras are that they shoot 720p video because I want the high def video and that they're under a hundred bucks. Um, this particular one was 55 bucks. We're going to go ahead and do an unboxing. The simple trail camera comes in this box. Let me go ahead and open that up and see what all it contains. It contains the instruction manual. Hey, we're guys. We don't need that. It contains simple operating instructions. So they figure if the guys are going to throw away the instruction manual, they'll include a simple one. Let's see. The actual camera. There it is. We have... Oh, what is this? That was unexpected. Looks like a mounting plate to mount this to a tree or to a bar or a post. Um, screw mount with a, a set of ball joint connectors to let you angle it. And the other thing that all of these cameras come with, a strap to attach it to a tree. And it looks like this one comes with a USB cable if you want to talk to it. For the most part, I don't actually talk to these cameras through USB. I have in the past using a pad to remove the images from the camera. It works, but it's, it's just faster to yank out the card and swap it. Let's see what we've got. One of the things that was listed as a plus for this camera is that it has a built-in LCD display that allows you to actually view the, the pictures without removing the card. This camera, like the Bushnell camera that I have out right now, runs on eight AA batteries. You know, I really wish... I know why they get it. They get it for size more than anything. It makes them smaller to use AA's. I really like the C-cells. When these things are attached to a tree, it doesn't matter how big they are. The C-cells, in my opinion, last longer. But they seem to have gotten away from them and freaking eight AA batteries gets expensive. So we got our eight double A's. Go ahead and snap these in. cover plate back on. Alright. We're going to need a memory card for it. Um, I brought my pack of memory cards that I use for that camera and the game cameras. So we're going to go ahead and put a memory card in. And turn it on. So what I'm going to do in a little bit is take this camera down to the tree where I've got the Bushnell camera right now, take that camera off the mount, put this camera on the mount, and we're going to leave this camera out in video mode for a week. Then when I come back I'll switch it to photo mode and I'll run photo mode for a week. And let's see what we get out of it. 